Chapter 12. Traveling to Estolia. When Amalia showed me her aura, I am certain that Deity had a glorious hand in bringing me my Kali, and simultaneously fulfilling a lifelong dream. From 1928 to 1933 I was one of the laborers who helped to construct and maintain the airport at Mahatta. Then, after seclusion, the keeper asked me to help design the Amador Airport. Creating something functional and extraordinary, in keeping with the beautiful soul of Estolia was, for me, Torizon here in our waking world. Chibudu Carstairs, in Scrito. They were in the air three hours before Melanie asked the question Bethany hoped to avoid for the entire journey. It was inevitable that Melanie's enthrallment with the horses presented to her would eventually wear thin enough so she would want to know further details. Where, exactly, is this place? When they spoke on the phone, Xavier Zakarian had been adamant, I do not believe your friend would agree to the commission if she knew you were coming to Estolia. Once the airplane is in the air, however, you can safely tell her of your destination. Didn't I tell you already? Bethany asked. Bethany. I know that tone. Melanie's attention was now sharp. She looked around the luxury airplane and then back at her friend. What haven't you told me about this assignment? You didn't really want to know the details once you saw the possible bonus, Bethany pointed out. Beth, Andy Stolian horses are like gold dust, there aren't many breeders, but they're divine in dressage, and gifted when it comes to jumping, and have superb stamina for cross-country competitions. You have no idea how valuable it would be to spend a year with a whole stable of Andy Stolians to ride and choose from. There was no way I was going to turn it down. But now we're on the way, I do need to know the details of the assignment. Bethany said blithely, we will do a photo documentary of a nation the state religion. Apparently, it's a critical year and they'll be doing all kinds of religious events over the next 12 months that we'll document. You'll have plenty of free time to exercise your passion. Yes, but what nation? What religion? Estolia. This was the sticking point. Xavier could not tell Bethany whether Melanie even knew Sebastian was from Estolia. Melanie frowned slightly. I've heard of Estolia, but I can't remember where I heard of it. Is it one of the tiny European countries? Bethany was relieved. Estolia is in the Mediterranean. It's a small island nation. At dinner, Xavier said, I have commissioned a photojournalist to document the transition. The airplane will be arriving simultaneously with the promise of deity. Xavier addressed Sebastian and Gregory. I do not wish them to arrive unheralded. It is best that the two of you, along with your mother, should greet them at the airport. Your father, Theo, and I, will travel to the dock so that we can inform Leo of the change in his status. If he has already placed his soul in Jackie's keeping, they will go directly to the temple. What suite has been prepared for the journalist? asked Gregory. I believe the journalist is bringing an assistant. It might be a husband and wife team. I did not get the details, Xavier said, I have put them in the Northwest Tower suite. They will be with us through the birth of Leo's son, and his coronation, at the very least.